Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Pro Media, back with another Dokkan Battle video. So, the Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission, aka the pre-300 million download celebration, celebration has officially begun, and in today's video, we're gonna check out what's going on together. So let's pop into the news here and see what they have in store for us. So, the first thing on top here says, SDBH World Mission Crossover Special Campaign, and this does officially confirm that the Dragon Ball Heroes units are coming to global and of course we've known about this for a while now but of course nothing is 100% confirmed or official until it's in the in-game news so here it is guys Dragon Ball Heroes finally on global didn't think I would actually see this day up until we got that tweet from Dokener but <laughs> it's here guys so uh, let's check out what's going on. So it says, Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission allows you to enjoy the popular arcade game Super Dragon Ball Heroes at any time and place on your console. So a little bit of promo for their Switch game, I guess. And uh, in the story, the protagonist Beat will become one of the Dragon Ball Heroes and stand against the anomalies that appeared out of nowhere. Um, Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission includes the content of all 10 games from the Super Dragon Ball Heroes uh, series. That's the largest content. That's the largest content in the history of Dragon Ball games. Um, there seems to be something a little bit lost in translation there, but that's okay, I get it. Uh, special events and crossover special missions related to Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission are available during this campaign. Collaboration characters will also be available in the SDBH crossover summon. So uh, it seems like it's only going to be one banner. I wasn't really sure before this if all the units were going to be on one banner or are they going to be in separate banners, but Looks like it's going to be one, which is pretty crazy. Uh, don't miss out on the chance to Dokkan Awaken the collaboration, collaboration characters. Come enjoy the events from the SBH World Mission Crossover Special Campaign. Okay, dope. Awesome. By the way, um, just in the interest of being honest, uh, I do, I have played at least uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission on the Switch. It's actually a really good game, so um, if you guys are interested in a different kind of Dragon Ball game, kind of like a card, well not really quite card battle style, but you do collect cards which are characters you can use, um, it's actually a lot of fun, so go check it out. Not sponsored by Bandai, uh, just want to be honest in case anyone's curious, it is a good game, alright? Uh, so the first thing on top here we have the SDBH World Mission Crossover Special Missions, pretty standard right there, and also a 1500 day ce uh, celebration login bonus. So. Um, I wasn't aware actually that we had hit 1500 days, that's pretty awesome, and uh, I believe it's it's basically just a login bonus for this celebration, it's not like a separate one, but I guess they decided to give it a different spin, that's alright. Uh, number 3 is actually pretty exciting, so this is the Hercules Heart Pounding Gifts, this is something that JP has had at least a couple times now, like at least two times, I don't remember if they've had more, but uh, basically the way it works is that every day when you log in between the 12th and the 18th, so for one week basically, um, Hercule will pop up and he'll give you a gift, and if you get really lucky, you can get up to seven dragon stones as well as some other good stuff, but most of the time you're gonna get like one stone, maybe three stones, but uh, there was one time on JP when I logged in that I got a screen crack, and it was uh, Hercule kicking 18, and uh, I got seven stones. So that could happen, but it's still nice. It's basically a few extra stones every single day as part of the login bonus, and uh, I'm happy that Global finally has it. So if you, yo, if any of you guys got the screen crack or got seven stones, let me know in the comments down below, because that's actually pretty rare. It's like pretty hard. I don't know what the rates are, but um, I've only gotten it once out of like, I don't know, 10 plus times, something like that. Okay, number four is a Dragonstone sale. Very mediocre sales, not too surprised since this is a filler celebration. Um, only 32 stones for 50 or 50% 50 discount, only once, and then 91 stones for 20% off three times. Uh, I always get the 32 stone pack, but I stay away from the 91. And I would recommend you do the same thing if you are pay to play, if you're free to play, then it doesn't really matter. And number five is the crossover summons, and it is it does look like it's just one banner. Um, these two are from the most recent banner on JP, but I would assume that based on what we see on DPZ Space and the Dokkan Wiki, that all of them are going to be on this banner and, well, I'm not sure if they're all going to be featured, but it does say one featured SSR guaranteed per multi-summon, so I assume that at least all the featured units are going to be Dragon Ball Heroes units, and that means one dra guaranteed Dragon Ball Heroes unit per multi, and I say the reason I say I don't know if they're all going to be featured is there's a chance that maybe some of them are going to be unfeatured in the pool, 
but I don't really know right now, so I guess we'll have to see. And number six is a new special event. All right, so we got the Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission Story event, where you can recruit uh, Beat, who turns into Great Saiyan Man 4, and also, uh, I think his name is Oms, but I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, who turns into the third form Oms with the rosé hair, and uh, that's a pretty cool unit right there. So both of them are pretty good support units. Um, definitely recommend to farm them out. And number seven... Oh! <laughs> no way! He's finally here! He's finally here, guys. Okay, I literally went into this blind, right? The clock hit 8 o'clock, I, I hit the news button, and we, we were, like, or I hit the record button, and we were on our way, right? I didn't even check what was going on. Janemba, dude! Yo! <laughs> okay, in Janemba, finally! Finally! On Global, guys, yo! Dude. <laughs> That's a nice surprise right there, man. That's a nice surprise. You know, I was glad I didn't check the news then. Since you got that genuine reaction out of me. Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, we're getting into Nemba's EZA. Um, oh my god. Uh, so it starts on the 18th. We got the Dokkan Festival. Basically just a banner with uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks featured. And I forgot who the other other guy is, but it doesn't matter. Um, we got the tickets. If you guys want to buy those, they're... I mean, it's an option. I don't really do it. And uh, number 9 is the actual Extreme Z battle event, so 30 free stones right there. But more importantly, we can finally Dokkan Awake or Extreme Z Awaken our Janemba. He's a beast, he's awesome. Um, looking forward to that for sure. And uh, also, I believe the reason this is coming back is because the physical and AGL Ultimate Gohans are also getting their Dokkan Awakenings at the same time. So uh, I think we can get the medals to awaken those guys, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but it makes sense. The number 11 is a Fiend Possessed, so um, basically just the uh, Dokkan, Dokkan event for Janemba and Ultimate Gohan are going to be here the entire time between the 18th and the 29th. And then the 29th World Tournament is also starting on the 22nd to the 25th, and we are getting the uh, STR Goku Black that we were missing from JP as the reward. And number 14 is uh, World Tournament Summons, pretty standard ticket summons basically. Uh, pack, I believe this is from Pilaf's Trove, stay away from that, it's not worth it. Number 16 is the Ghostly uh, Prank event or the Ghost Tanks event coming back. There's the Goku and Friends event with the Radishes, um, the Strongest Rivals, uh, Hero of Justice, some story events coming back, all right. Number 20 is the battle prep for those uh, support items. And if you guys are low on like Ghost Ushers or some other good support items, it's actually a really good stage to run. And 21 is Rabbit Mob, and 22 is uh, Adventure of Gratitude. Just two old story events, nothing too exciting there. And that's gonna do it pretty much for the new events. Or not new events, but like the, you know, events for the Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission uh, celebration. But let's check out this Hercule thing real quick. And the Hercule thing, like I said, if you get ultra super lucky, basically it's once per day every time you log in when uh, the, you know, the game resets. You get, um, if you get really lucky, you get 7 stones, 3 kais, and 1500 orbs in total. That's probably split between the 5 different types of orbs. But uh, if you get super lucky, so this is ultra super lucky, if you get super lucky, you can get uh, three stones as well as uh, one Kai of a random type and some other good stuff. Um, and then if you get you know regular lucky, you got one stone, and uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna see the most of the time. But like I said, if you guys got seven stones, let me know in the comments, and uh, I would be happy to congratulate you because like I said, I think that's pretty pretty rare. And that is it for that. Okay. And for the login bonus, let's see if there's anything crazy. It is 1,500 days. Ooh. So first login is 15 stones. That's awesome. That is awesome. And 10 gravity chambers. I can always use more of those. One Kai <laughs> and one Hercule statue. Could have used more, but that's okay. Um, and then it's three stones for the next day. And then I think it's one stone. Yeah, one stone for the rest of the days up until the 25th, which is when I assume that this celebration ends and the 300 million download celebration officially begins, or at least the countdown to it, like the countdown celebration or uh, countdown campaign, I guess. So. Um, yeah, I guess 26 is a, definitely a key date to look for, guys. And beyond that, that is... Oh, and special missions. Um, you can get up to 28 stones. Up to 28 stones to complete the missions. Um, not gonna get into too much detail here, because you guys can check that yourself. They're all here. And that is it, guys. That is it. That's all there is to say about this Super Dragon Ball Heroes, aka the pre... 
um, the warm up, I guess, for the 300 million download celebration. But yo, know, there's some pretty good stuff here, man. I'm glad they they threw in the Janemba um, to at least keep us somewhat interested, because I know that not a lot of people are that hyped for Dragon Ball Heroes, the banner and the units. Um, most people are skipping, and I did make a video about that earlier today, so go check it out. Um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> we got Janemba. We finally, finally got Janemba. The meme is over. I can't freaking wait for that to come out on the 18th. I think I said 18th. Either way, um, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Uh, <laughs> this is a lot more exciting than I expected it would be, and uh, after this, of course, is the 300 million downloads, so get ready for that. And that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found it informative, found it entertaining, and if you found it, in any way to be one of those things or positive in some way then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's all i gotta say guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger Upcom media signing out